Hey, Rockford Jake here. Today I am joined by Steve from Screw City Tavern, which is a new place down here on Harrison and Elpi. How's it going, Steve? Good, how you doing? Doing fantastic. So, uh, tell me a little bit about Screw City Tavern. Well, uh, Screw City, it's in the, the old jeans place here at the southwest corner of Harrison and Alpine. Um, we've been working on this project for, I don't know, for almost a year now. Wow. Um, finally decided to heck with COVID, we're always going to open up for carry-out delivery and, <laughs> and catering. Um, so we'll actually cater to your business for lunches and dinners and such. So Nice. And so you guys decided to do that uh, about how long ago now? Uh, we're on our fifth week now, I believe. Okay. Very cool. And are you a, a, like a Rockford native, born and raised in the area? Absolutely. I, I actually grew up in this neighborhood. Uh, oh, no way. I went to school over at Whitehead and Flynn and East High School. So it's my old stomping grounds. Yeah. That's awesome. And so now you're able to bring like this cool kind of pub tavern atmosphere. I know you guys are still working on it a little bit, right? And yeah. getting things ready for when indoor dining does come back. Hopefully soon. Yeah, hopefully really soon. Um, but and you said you have some plans for when that does happen. Yeah, um, you know, we're, we're focusing on our food because we want to be known for food here. Um, but we'll have live entertainment on Saturdays. Um, and then once the weather turns, we have the outside patio open. We just made that a much bigger. Nice. Um, putting in new fencing now, and we'll have entertainment on Sundays out there. Um, Try to have a really nice outdoor atmosphere. Yeah, very cool. And you said that you really kind of wanted to focus on the food. So, like, tell me a little bit about that. Um, taking your out of your your normal bar food, but up, you know, changing it up a little bit, trying to be a little different than everybody else. Um, like our mac and cheese, um, kind of brought some Georgia roots up, and doing a pimento beer cheese sauce for it. Um, just doing some things a little different. Um, we have sandwiches we call our stacks. It's your Reuben, your BLT, a prime rib that we do a little differently. Instead of having it on a, like a hoagie roll or, or on bread, we're doing it on a bun and stacking it up really high. <laughs> nice. Um, just a little different than everybody else. Yeah, very, very cool. And so, like, what was the inspiration for the tavern? Like, how did this come to be? Um, honestly, the I partnered up with the landlords, um, and we just kind of talked for a couple months, actually, about... About a concept and I just wanted to you know the location's been here for a long time so we didn't sure. want to change it too much but just wanted to you know give it a little facelift and and with the menu just kind of not upscale food but higher end bar food and do things just a little different awesome um, and screw city tavern was born out of all that yep just somehow came that name popped to mind and i knew there was you know there's the screw city beer fest and there's a bunch of screw city businesses and sure things but uh just wanted to uh I don't know, just kind of popped in, popped in my head and off we went with it. So. <laughs> Very cool. Well, for those that want to learn more about the tavern or hit you guys up for some uh, curbside, some carry out or catering, uh, where do they go to get in contact with you? Uh, you can either give us a call at 815-708-8286 or go to our website, which is sprucecitytavern.com. You can order right there online um, for, your, for delivery or carry out curbside. If you want to cater to your business, just give us a call and we'll sit and talk about it and see what works best for you and we'll make that happen too. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Steve, for getting together to chat and congratulations on the opening of the tavern. And thank you, Rockford, for tuning in. Uh, real quick shout out to all of our business sponsors and our backers that make content like this possible. It's because of their support, I'm able to highlight local businesses like Steve's here at Screw City Tavern and bring you all this Rockford positivity for free through the power of the internet. So thank you so much to them and we'll see you on the flip side. Bye, Rockford. Yeah.